It's the news. Our top story this evening is a local tale. A woman was arrested in Henderson late Thursday after police said they linked her to the remains of a decomposing baby girl found in a yard in Santa Ana. Michelle Pedroza, 20, was arrested at about 10 p.m. on a warrant for murder, according to Deputy U.S. Marshal. She barricaded herself in the home for about an hour, he said. Pedroza, who lived in Santa Ana up until about three weeks ago, was placed in Clark County Detention Center, where she is awaiting a transfer to California. The baby's body was discovered earlier this week by a resident who noticed a pit bull playing with the remains in a yard between the two homes. Pedroza's aunt, Rosa Pedroza, said her niece lived in the rear house for about a year until she moved to Nevada to be with her mother. She also said that she never noticed her being noticeably pregnant. An autopsy did not confirm a cause of death, and officials are awaiting the results of forensic tests. Well, as we all know when you're shopping for a dog, it is very good to make sure that it plays well with children. Our next story comes all the way from Germany. Two German Air Force sergeants are facing court-martial after trying to mass-produce sausage made from the blood of their comrades. The two men, who are based out of Feldbruck, a fighter squadron headquarters near Munich, had already tried a traditional recipe using their own blood. But they were caught trying to recruit fellow servicemen and family members to ensure a constant flow of raw materials. One of the soldiers posted a picture of himself on a popular German website, siphoning off his blood and adding it to the recipe of Blotwurst sausage, using onions, bacon, spices, and breadcrumbs. The incident only came to the attention of senior officers after one of their fellow soldiers reported the fact that he had been asked to donate some blood for the scheme. The man is reported to have said, I have been asked to give blood for sausage making, and I want to know if that's against regulations. The sergeants, 25 and 29, are only identified as B and G, were suspended immediately last December. The recipe for the sausage, which apparently came from one of their grandmothers, was found in the belongings of the men after they were arrested. So go ahead, get your pens and papers. It reads, make sure the blood is fresh and the baking cubes are diced finely with a nice proportion of fat to lean. Do not use too many breadcrumbs, but if the blood starts to curdle, stir in a teaspoon of wine vinegar. The men are reported to have told investigating officers that they both had an interest in cookery. Yes, indeed. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Man, you can really taste it when someone puts a little bit of themselves into their work. Mmm. Even a hopeless romantic must admit that there is a time when you give up on your boyfriend. And that time is when he starts to decompose. An Austrian police are saying a 66-year-old Austrian woman lived for almost a year with the corpse of her 85-year-old partner. They found him wrapped in blankets and in desperate need of embalming. Now investigators are trying to figure out whether she was trying to collect his pension or if she was just a bit kinky. Ah, gotta love a little bit of necromance. <laughs> All right, let's see. Next story here. Next story. It's in here somewhere. Hold on. Ah, there it is. Another one from Germany. A German man survived a 25-foot plunge down a lift shaft when he landed on a woman who had fallen down it a day before. A man, the man, 27, was unhurt after landing on the 57-year-old woman and managed to free himself from the shaft at an apartment block in Frankfurt. He called out rescue services who took the woman to the hospital. Doctor said she's in critical condition after sustaining injuries from the original fall and then again when the man landed on her. Police spokesman said the woman had been lying unconscious in the shaft for some time already. 
Although it made her injuries worse, it also probably saved her life that he fell on her, as it meant he knew she was there and managed to get help. Rescue workers said that without him plunging, the woman would have died from internal bleeding. It sounds really bizarre, one rescue worker said afterwards. When he fell down on her, his weight caused additional damage to her body, but without that, she could have laid there for days. The man said he had slipped as he walked past the lift shaft, which had been open because it was undergoing repairs. He is reported to have said, I live on the top floor and it was quite a nuisance climbing the stairs. I saw the elevator door open and just wanted to check whether somebody was finally working on it. I took a closer look inside the shaft and as it was pitch black, I must have slipped off the edge somehow. Well, that's an entertaining little trip. <clears throat> Very bizarre. Very bizarre indeed. Well, I do have one album review for you tonight. The new Nine Inch Nails, Ghosts 1 through 4. This is a very good attempt by Trent Reznor at a soundscape. And if you are a Trent Reznor fan or a soundtrack fan, I do recommend it. However, if you are a Nine Inch Nails fan, I'm not sure you're going to be pleased with what it is. It is a two-disc, 36-track, massive collection of instrumental music that in some parts, especially the first disc, seems to be thrown together haphazardly and has no flow whatsoever. The second disc, however, much better with a continuing flow. The songs range from industrial to pop electronica and melancholy piano work. Now, I kept thinking to myself that this would be a wonderful soundtrack to a movie, uh, and that is what Trent is asking people to do, is put imagery to it, and that is why it doesn't have any track names, because he doesn't want to influence you. I actually give it a three and a half jack-o'-lanterns out of the new updated five jack-o'-lantern scale. That's right, three and a half. My second lowest, the lowest being three jack-o'-lanterns, four with teeth. So again, if you are a Trent Reznor fan, it is worth a buy. Nine Inch Nails fan, maybe not so much. So, there you go. And that is the end of the news. Mm, yeah, good stuff. No, 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 no.